Hello everybody. I know it's been a little while. Uh, I've been away. I haven't really been focusing too much on fly tying. Uh, just did did a bunch of fishing the end of summer, and uh, then I got my black belt recently in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and then I did a competition immediately after that. Um, so, been doing a lot of other stuff, but fly tying. Uh, the last couple weeks I've been just getting back into doing some more fishing, and uh, the fly. The fly of the the season right now is definitely uh, an egg, so I thought I'd do a couple couple tutorials on a couple different eggs that I use. Uh, so before we get started, uh, the hook this is a size 14, 450 BL with a four millimeter satin pink bead. I don't think the bead color really matters. I use satin pink, bright orange. Uh, most of them are just gold. Um, in BC, because we can only use one fly, the the eggs I tie are generally a lot heavier than what you see uh, typically on YouTube. Um, so this first egg is the lightest I go, one single four millimeter bead. Um, and then typically I'm, I'm into more four and a half mil or uh, even multiple beads. Uh, so the next the next fly that I do, I'll, I'll show uh, the opposite end of the spectrum. We're gonna actually tuck a bead inside the wrap. So it'll be two, two uh, beads on the fly. So for material on this guy, uh, you see that? The Alchemist, uh, the color is Sockeye, it's kind of a pale peachy color, uh, it's definitely without a doubt my most productive color. Um, next would be like a pale pink, um, and then also there's a row color, it's very kind of sunburst orange, uh, works really well. But uh, Depending on the season, you know, vary the color. Pale eggs later, pale dead eggs. Uh, for thread, UTC 70 fluorescent orange. Uh, thread doesn't really matter. Like bright pink works, like whatever, anything. You don't see a lot of the thread. Do something that'll complement an egg color, whether it's fluorescent orange or even red, uh, white. It's all. It's all gonna work. And the only other thing you need, I have a little cup off camera here full of water. It's going to make tying this a lot easier. So I've cut off, it's about 4 inches now, but it used to be about 12 inches before I started tying. I like to use shorter shorter lengths. I don't like to use it out of the package and, and rotate the vise. Um, I find this just quick and easy. So let's start our thread. And... I'm going to expose the core on the chenille by just plucking away a little bit of the fiber. You should be able to see there the, the core. And I'm actually going to put the core in the bead. And then really make sure it's tied down well. So I've got maybe two millimeters of of thread base there between the where the material is tied in and the bead and I don't really want to go much more than that I want to limit my thread wraps um, you know back to the one fly thing uh, if this is super bulky and you put four or five wraps of this stuff in it it's not going to sink very well for you you're gonna to have to do a, a super long drift just to get it down so keep them keep them real sparse so at this point I'm just gonna wet my fingers Get some water in the chenille. And then what this does is it makes a very thin, thin blade that's uh, much easier to keep track of. So just make sure no fibers are getting caught. You want everything to be as neat as possible. First wrap doesn't really do a whole bunch. It's just going to kind of lay straight back. Second wrap touching right in front. It's two. Probably get away with three. Yeah, we'll go three. So I generally don't like to do more than about three wraps. So now I'm just going to separate out the fibers and give myself a little tie-in point there. Three tight wraps, one in front. 
trim it away. And now I just whip finish. That's it. No glue, no messing around. You know, you're going to lose some of these. I don't like to spend a lot of time tying them. Um, you know, if you put some good music on and zone out, you could easily rattle off 20 of these, 30 of these in an hour, and uh, you're set for a little bit of fishing. So, hope that helps. Hope you learned something. Hope you use this, catch some fish. Take it easy.